Hey guys, today we are going to revisit an old topic, a topic that I talked about in my old video, and that is raising Daphnia, but specifically how to stop them from crashing. Daphnia are pretty easy to culture, and people are usually pretty successful in getting them going, but almost everybody would inadvertently crash their culture, and also how to culture them with spirulina. So I thought I'll give you a set of golden rules. The first golden rule is that green water is king. I'm not going to get into too much details about making green water because there's tons of video on YouTube about this. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Nothing makes your Daphne grow faster than green water. And nothing stops your Daphne from crashing than green water. Mainly because it's alive. The green water is not going to die in your culture. And it helps keep your culture clean by actually absorbing the waste that your Daphne produce. Rule number two, you need to do water changes. Daphnia is a living organism. It will consume and produce waste. The waste product will build up in your culture and it can either kill the Daphnia or force them to switch to an egg producing stage. Luckily, there are some signs that your culture is going to crash. When culturing with green water, the first sign is that your culture turns yellow or yellow brown. When this happens, you want to do the water change ASAP because you can lose 80% of them overnight. Use a siphon to get the water out of your culture. When you siphon, make sure you get all the muck on the bottom of your tank. This is actually the exoskeleton, and it could accumulate quite a bit in a short period of time. Here is the macro shot where you can see the exoskeleton. Personally, I like to siphon them out to a very fine mesh. That way I'm not losing any of those precious Daphnia. Pour the Daphnia that you collected into a small container, and then simply suck out all the dead exoskeleton. Usually they're at the bottom, but sometimes they're floating like in this video. You can actually use the exoskeleton as food. My quarries and catfish, they seem to love it. You can probably feed it to your dwarf Neocardina shrimps. You can make it a habit of every time you are harvesting your Daphnia, you are also doing water changes. Rule number three, use spirulina powder when you run out of green water. If you are doing everything right, there's going to be a point where your Daphnia culture is consuming the green water so fast that you are doing pretty much daily water changes. Yes, believe me, it will happen. I have a 50 gallon drum of green water culture outdoors and these Daphnia are consuming 10 to 20 gallons of those water every day. So at a certain point, you're going to have no choice but to feed them powdered food. A lot of people like to use flour or even milk. And although this is an effective way of feeding the Daphnia, it is not an effective way of giving your fish the proper nutrients. Unlike flour, spirulina contain tons of carotenoids, which greatly improves the color of your fish as well as act as a source of antioxidant. So here is how to prepare spirulina for your Daphnia. Get yourself a bag of spirulina. A bag like this will last forever. And in a cup of water, throw in some micro scoops of spirulina powder. I'm talking about 200 milligrams per 10 gallon. In my 25 gallon culture, I am throwing in about three scoops. Remember that spirulina powder is a dead organism. If you use too much, it will spoil, go bad, and kill your culture. Then make sure to stir it up and completely dissolve it. Once you do that, go ahead and pour it directly on top of the airstone. That way, the powder gets spread around evenly. This amount of spirulina feed my culture for one to two days. And I'm gonna repeat this again because I know you guys have short attention span. Do not overfeed. Less is always more. And make sure to do at least a 25% water change every other day. Be sure to use hard tap water and dechlorinate. Daphnia will crash if the GH of the water is too low. Before I end the video, I wanna to talk to you about some minor tips that you don't have to do, but they do help. You can add in some black worms. They can help keep the tank clean by eating the exoskeleton. 30 worms per 10 gallon is usually enough. If you add too much black worms, they can crash and then kill your culture. Run an airstone. A lot of information online say not to run an airstone because the air can get trapped inside the Dathia. I never think this is the case. The airstone help oxygenate the water and it circulates the food around the tank. And lastly, have bigger tanks and multiple culture. I personally have two culture going on. 
one in my 20 gallon and one in my 27 gallon tub. Having multiple culture means you can still recover if one of your culture crash. And having a bigger container to culture your daphnia means you have more room for error. When you do and will mess up. Trust me, you will mess up. That's gonna be it guys. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate the small amount of viewers and subscriber that frequently watches my video and comments. I always remember and recognize some of you guys. For those of you who are looking to start their Daphnia culture, you can get them from my website at bwaquatics.com. If you make an order over $50, there is a $10 discount on the Daphnia. It's basically free guys. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.